Good morning, and thank you for joining our webinar today. My name is Susan Plumer. I'm the Vice President of Healthcare Sales for Strategic Health Services, and I'm very excited to spend the next 30 minutes with you. Um, today, you know, we thought we would do something a little different um, with our approach. So for the next 30 minutes, I'm actually going to present the benefits of our wellness program that are private labeled for local health systems to sell to the local employers in their marketplace. But before I get started, let me give you a little background on the strategic health services strategy. So today, if you are on the webinar and you are listening to this as a broker or consultant or an HR professional, you are going to take away what a robust wellness program should entail and how implementing it with the right communications plan will ensure participation. So if you're a hospital listening to the webinar today, then this is going to illustrate how you as a hospital can implement this wellness program for your own employees, but more importantly, how you would be going out and selling this in the marketplace and how easy it is to engage your local employers, building deeper connections with them, driving new revenues for you, and creating healthier populations. So the example that I'm going to use today is King's Daughters Medical Center. They are one of Strategic Health Services' um, premier accounts that have really embraced this strategy. So not only do they use this for their 3,500 employees that they have seen extreme results from, but they now um, after a couple years have had over 10 local employers that are engaged with their wellness solution. Um, most recently, Strategic Health Services has hired a sales rep for King's Daughter that is housed at King's Daughter that specifically sells to their employers uh, for their wellness program. Many of our other hospitals are, are hiring their own salespeople either through Strategic or through their own um, their own staff to go out and sell this because they've seen such big results um, in providing these services to their local employers. So essentially, what we really want you to walk away with today is look at strategic health services, as you can see in this beautiful graphic, as are the roots underneath your services. We're helping you grow. We provide the platform. We provide the services. We provide the analytic pieces for you to go out and sell not only wellness, but your other hospital services. So speaking of services, the first thing that happens when we go and work with a hospital is we create their wellness menu of services. So throughout the presentation today, you will see My Health Solutions. My Health Solutions is the logo um, in the program that King's Daughter uses as their outreach program. Not only does it entail wellness, but it entails several other services that we will talk about throughout the presentation. But as you can see here, um, their wellness services are made up of biometric screenings and a health risk assessment. Um, they do coaching. We have claims analytics. Some of these are, are provided by strategic health services. Most of these are provided by King's Daughters, and for the employer, they will see that they are all provided through King's Daughters. And so now I'm going to get into the role of the salesperson at these hospitals that, is go that are going out to sell to employers and engage them in this program. So I'm from King's Daughter. I am talking to a local employer, and the first thing that employers really want to know is, why is it important to have a wellness program? And why is it important for that wellness program to be provided by the local health system? Well, as an employer, you see unhealthy behaviors causing high employee expenses in your health and your health care costs. Unhealthy behaviors equals high risk, which equals chronic diseases, which equals high medical costs. And so where are these costs coming from? So we know in America, not just in your own in, in, in your own geography, but obesity, diabetes, these are huge 
chronic problems for our country. And as you can see here, I mean, it, it costs an employer almost $14,000 a year to have a diabetic um, employed in their population. And so not only, as you can see, are these high medical costs, but, but when someone is unhealthy, it also is causing an unhappy employee, unhappiness is you know, results in low productivity, more absenteeism, um, and quite frankly, it's harder to, to recruit and retain when you're not offering a benefit like this. So why is it important that you're offering your wellness pro that you're buying your wellness program from your local health system? Because we provide all of the resources. You no longer have to, to do to go somewhere for your biometric screenings, to go somewhere else for your health risk assessment. People like one-stop shopping, and the benefit of the, the health system is that your employees feel more comfortable giving information and working with their providers more than their insurance company or a third-party vendor. So you as a health system are really poised to build these relationships um, and, and be able to provide these services. And once um, the health risk assessment and biometric screenings are done and, and, I, and we can see what your population looks like, we also have the program. So if there's, you have a high obesity population, we can bring out you know, our weight loss program, we can bring out a smoke cessation program. If you have a high hypertensive population, we can bring out a stress management class. So we have health coaches, lifestyle coaches, case managers, and if you happen to be a self-funded employer that we can get your claims, we can even manage the gaps in care, both from a medical and pharmacy perspective. So we, we really are a participation-based wellness program, and as we talked about in the prior study, the cost of these employees that are in these, what we call the pre-zones, um, are astronomical, and these are really where the focus is for us as a health system to keep the, this population from moving to a full-blown um, chronic disease. So we want to keep, you know, we stratify our population into the healthy, the low-risk, emerging risk, high-risk, and, and chronic. And so the low-risk and the emerging is really where we can help keep your costs down, and that's where your pre-diabetics are, your, your pre-hypertensives are, your low to moderate cholesterol, and of course your obesity. And as you can see, the cost of becoming a, from a, going from a pre-zone to a full-blown diabetic or a full-blown obesity is, is quite high. So we want to focus our programs on these pre-zones. In fact, we have a white paper that we have written on pre-zones um, that we will be providing uh, post this this webinar. So My Health Solutions, again, this is our, um, our comprehensive wellness program that we're offering to you as an employer. Not only does it include the wellness program, which is the health risk assessment, the online portal, and more that I'm going to talk about in a bit here, but we also provide the biometric screenings, your preventative health services like your annual physicals, we can do diabetes testing. Uh, we can bring a local mammogram, our local mammogram truck out and do mammograms right on site. We have all the services that we can provide. And especially for from an occupational medicine, um, that's a real natural segue going from Oc Health to wellness because we are engaging with your population before they get hired, while they're there, and, and, and if they happen to be um, in rehab or in a workers' comp issue, we're, we're helping them go back um, and get tested before they go back to work. So all that information can be housed in one place, um, and that's, that's a real natural extension to bring in wellness. The other thing that we're offering to you is video-based telemedicine and remote monitoring, which is giving you quicker and less expensive medical treatment um, for your population. So let me show you what our member portal and what we like to call our engagement platform looks like. So this is My Health Solutions, again, from King's Daughter. Housed in this engagement platform are many tools that your employees can use 
um, to engage with this program. It, it is available as an iPhone app. The health risk assessment is housed in here. Biometric screening results are in here. There is a um, very robust health library where your employees can look up um, you know, things, you know, aside from using Google as a search engine, they're looking up a um, accredited health library. We have over 14 trackers um, that track your exercise, track your food, they can track your blood pressure, your weight, um, so that your employees are engaging and seeing what, what kinds of activities they're doing on a daily basis. We integrate with over 25 fitness applications, so we really like to work with people that are using and make this you know, as easy as possible so they don't have to switch if they're using a Fitbit or a Garmin or a Misfit. We work with all of those fitness uh, devices. We also have a scorecard in here that will help you as an employer track your incentives. So we will, we'll, not only are we able to help you design your incentives, but we will help you record on those. So if you're using these incentives as, as premium differentials or rewards or putting them in your S HSA accounts, we can help do that reporting to you, for you. So we do believe that wellness is a journey, and the journey really should have some fun in it. So we have a, a big health or entertainment portion of, of our system, and there's two things in here that I want to put, point out that are, that are part of our, our engagement platform. One is a sedentary disruption activity um, that is pushed out to your members. It can be pushed out hourly or it could be pushed out, um, you know, by out, you know, every couple hours, whatever you think would be appropriate for your population. But we all know that sitting is the new smoking and we want to promote any kind of an activity for your employees. And these activities, they can pick from over 400 different activities based on their, you know, their body type or their physical a uh, handicap, so if someone isn't, you know, quite beach body ready, they may just even stand up and lift their leg ten times. It's actually kind of fun when you're working next to someone and seeing them get up and, and do a little activity, but this is something that is pushed out via email, via a smartphone. Um, it, it is an alerting mechanism that lets people know that they're ready to do an activity. Um, secondarily, we have a um, six-week activity challenge that tracks steps, exercise, and diet. This is more um, used as a competitively friendly in a, you know, in an organization where departments can compete against departments, you can have a, a team leader. Um, these particular, the one that you're looking at on the screen is a zombie challenge where zombies are chasing you to the safe house. Um, and, but we, we are actually coming out with an Olympic challenge in the fall. We're constantly coming out with new things. This is also something very um, popular around open enrollment time because as you're asking your uh, employees to do an HRA and biometrics, it's kind of nice to give them something fun to do as well. So our wellness process is a little bit unique. Um, you know. There is an online health risk assessment. We as the hospital will take your biometric screening. Those results are housed in the online portal that you will be receiving. What's important to note about this is when employees are doing these testing, that is when they're most anxious and they really want their results quickly. So if you're not going to be able to provide results quickly, you will, you, you're going to get an anxious population and you also may get a disinterested population. So our results are available immediately upon um, the biometric results being posted in the portal and um, a personal health profile that is 27 pages long, um, very comprehensive and in individualized to that employee. It will give you all the results, what the results mean, um, and, and recommendations based on those results. This is also a prompt for, the, for our coaches to reach out to your employees to go over what those results mean. Creating awareness in a population is really the first step in wellness because a lot of people really don't know what their biometric results mean. They don't know what high, an high HDL or LDL means. They don't know that high blood pressure may lead to a stroke. So just 
just bringing awareness to them is the first step in getting them engaged. And then there is, and 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 then there is also um, once we start to get their, you know, gaps in care and understand um, what their goals are. We have a goal setting tool called My Action Plan where the coaches will work with your employees to set their goals and that is that is that is constant engagement with them and following their progress with them. So this really helps with um, motivation and engagement with the population. And so based on the data, reporting is very important. So we will be able to come back to you after your population has taken this HRA and done the biometrics and we'll be able to show you and identify where your health risks are. And as a hospital, that's really important because we'll be able to come and bring programs and services to you based on where those risks lie. Like we mentioned before, if you have a, you know, a, a high hypertensive population, we could bring out a stress management workshop. Or if you have a high obesity, we'll bring out our weight loss program. So this is another reason why it's important to partner with the local health system. Um, we can show you where your, risk, your risks are, where the gaps in care are. Again, this is, we, will, we will be able to see who doesn't have a primary care physician, who hasn't had their mammograms, who's not getting their prostate exams, and we'll be able to promote those services and help those individuals get, that, get those services. And if you happen to be a self-funded employer, we can even go one step further with claims analytics. So we can get claims information, we can identify who your high cost claimants are. We can see, um, interestingly enough, who is most motivated to make a change. So in, the, in, in our analytics tool and in, in the algorithm, algorithms will, will, will give us an indication and a score on who is the most motivated to make a change. For example, someone who has had a heart attack, the day that they walk out of the hospital, is the day that they're most motivated to make a change. So we'll be able to focus on those individuals so that we can get very quick results and we can understand where the risks lie. Secondarily, if you're a hospital getting that information, you can also see where those employees are getting their services today. They might not be coming to King's Daughter for, for their primary care. They may be, or they may be getting their mammograms at another location. So now you'll know where the place and services are getting taken and you'll be able to promote and design your marketing and services, promotional materials around that, that information. A little bit more of a deeper dive and to show you a couple of the examples of how coaching can make an impact on, on your high claimants. This happens to be one of the customers that we work with. Um, and as you can see, by diagnosis, each of these have been engaged in coaching, high-level coaching, and you can see what they paid in 2015. Now, obviously, the 2016 is a forecast of the cost. We're not done with 2016 yet, but you can see that there's over a $500,000 savings with these individuals, um, with these diagnoses that are getting coached. And these are King's Daughters coaches. That, that are very well trained um, in being able to work with these diagnoses that we can work with your members. Another thing that employers like to see that we'll be able to provide are the risk movers. Like I said, we stratify the population into five categories. We like to make sure that they're moving in the right direction. I always like to point out this slide because sometimes people don't focus on the healthy population. And as you can see, it's, it is important because they're in this, this scenario, some of them got worse. But what we were talking about, the pre-zones and really making an impact on those pre-diabetics and those pre-hypertensives, this is where they lie. And as you can see, there's a dramatic increase um, in, in health with, with, in this low and emerging risk population. And that's what you want to see because you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be increasing your health care costs. So what makes a program successful is the communications. You, know, you can't over communicate to your, to your employees about what this program is going to do for them. Awareness, education, is, and communication is very important. So as 
the local hospital, we also will provide all of the communications for you from flyers to surveys to emails. We do monthly webinars on health, health tips. You know, if it's October, we'll do something on breast cancer. If it's January, we'll do something, you know, on, health, on, uh, on heart disease. But these are all coming from King's Daughters. So we will do all, whatever works for your population if you don't have, you know, someone that, you know, is highly computerized, if you've got a manufacturing and they're, you know, working um, and, and not by a computer, we will design flyers and, and payroll subs so that they are aware of the program every step of the way. Um, one of the first things that we like to do is understand what your population is and their barriers to health. So a, an employee survey is always best to understand what motivates them, what, you know, what stands in their way, and what incents them. So we will work with you to, for your incentive design based on these results. And really, this is very important in creating a culture of health. And the culture really has to begin at the top. As you can see here, this happens to be a letter from a CEO going out to their, um, to their employees. But, I mean, just reading this is almost five times more likely to report, an, um, you know, an improvement in health if you have leadership involved. So we will always help you get your leadership involved. We will make sure that they're walking the talk and they're promoting this program um, so that you can get the engagement and, and the results that you're looking for. So uh, some of the tools that we provide, and I'm just going to go through some of the things. This is just a snippet of all the things that you would receive. But we have, um, you know, tools that promote the portal. And um, here is showing, you know, how um, it's, it's a mobile app and, and showing the newsletters and how they can, can measure their progress. This next one happens to be how do we connect with our fitness devices and how important it is. Um, that you're tracking your sleep. Sleep is another thing that um, ho as a hospital we can really help you with because sleep really drives behavior and lack of sleep really creates an unmotivated and a tired workforce and an unproductive workforce. So as a hospital, we have sleep clinics that we'll be able to offer once we can track that information. Um, you know, making sure that people know when they're supposed to take their HRA and do their biometric screening. Um, that can't be more important to be over-communicated. And also, just merely making this fun and recognition and rewards, we always like to promote this as, you know, your employees are your biggest asset. So a wellness program that you're providing to them should be embraced and you should be promoting this as because you care about your employees. So we are always interested in helping you make this a fun and exciting way to, um, to show how much you care about your employees. Um, from a coaching perspective, you know, connecting with your coach and how important that can be, we are constantly making sure that people know that they have those services available to them and how they can connect with them. And then lastly, and most importantly, is the member success story, because this is the most inspirational. When you are seeing what your colleagues have accomplished, it is the most motivating. So after we rolled out this program and we see success, we will go out there, we will interview your employees, we will publish this, we will put this in your newsletter, we will put this as flyers, and I guarantee you um, this will motivate, motivate your staff. So, Really, it is to get. It really is getting. Getting started is easy for you as employers. I mean, we will work with you. We will de decide based on the results and, and what your population needs, what programs, whether it be coaching or or weight management. We will make sure we have the right communication tools to introduce the program, and you're going to start saving on healthcare costs very quickly. Um, the same thing we do we do for your employees. We are there with you every step of the way to make sure that they know how to use the program, that they get the training guides. We do YouTube videos for them so that they know how to use the program, um, that we introduce them to the coach and that we're providing the programs and services that are needed based on the, on the health risk. And so what overall, you know, what really is the impact? 
Well, this is Leticia. Leticia, you just saw back in one of the member success stories. You know, this was someone who had was was very overweight. She learned that from her health risk assessment and her biometric screening. She actually had sleep apnea. She had an enlarged liver. And by talking to her coach, we realized that she was really scared that she wasn't going to be there for her kids, and she wasn't, you know, she she was always tired. Uh, she smoked, so the coach immediately connected she did her with a primary care physician who put her on a weight loss program, a smoke, she put her in the smoking cessation program. Now she tracks her exercise. She's fully engaged with, with her coach um, who is motivating her to stay healthy. She started going to Zumba classes. So for Leticia, she's a happier, healthier employee. She's more productive at work. work. She is no longer a high-risk claimant to that organization. And for us at King's Daughter, we now have a new patient. She know, she didn't have a primary care physician to start with. Now she's coming to our primary care, so we have a new patient. We are able to track um, her through our coaching. Um, and so it, it really is a win-win for Leticia, for the organization, and, and for King's Daughter. So we want you to know that you know, we are an extension of your business. We are a local health system looking to, to really be the local hub of wellness in your community. And not only do we provide wellness, but we provide other services that can complement that. So um, we want you to know that you can count on us. We will be here every step of the way, and that um, the end result will be a win-win for all of us. So. Now, that, so that was our presentation that we would give to the local employers. I'm going to come out of roll now. This is my contact information. Um, I hope that as a HR and, and, a, and a, a broker consultant that was listening to this, you could see the robustness of the program. So this could really, the wellness portion of this can be used for any kind of an employer, it would be we work with many brokers that promote this as part of their their services. Um, and for a hospital, how easy it is to really be able to go out and sell this to the community. They're because they're they're thirsty for this and they're thirsty for the connection um, with their local hospital because they don't get these kinds of services from third party vendors or from their insurers. So you can offer a lot more to them. Um, like I said, I am going to send out a white paper to everyone who has participated in this uh, webinar uh, on the pre-zone, and then I will follow up with you individually if you would like a deeper dive into our engagement platform or just understanding more about what your individual needs are for you or your organization. So I would like to thank you so much um, for your, your attention to this, and I look forward to uh, to talking with you all individually at some point in the near future. I hope everyone has a fantastic and healthy day.